Okay, JBL GTO. This is double price from the Rocket Fosgate. Beautiful box, quality, everything is like very nice. And it comes with the, the bracket for you guys if you're using, how's it called, uh, European models. Right? You have uh, like two brackets for the each speaker. That's very nice. And this is the speaker itself. Uh, comes with very quality screws. Bunch of screws, holders, and ceiling, and the JBL sticker. Awesome. That's what you get when you pay top dollars, right? The grill, I'm not gonna show you. Alright, let go. Grill quality, a lot heavier, solid build than the Rockwood Fosky. And let me pull this out. This is this is speaker itself. My truck waiting these speakers, guys. So this is JBL. Also comes with the adjustable tweeter, like sound adjustment. This is G GT. I hate this DSLR uh, focus. The connectors also is like big filter a lot of filter filtration going on that's why it sounds very balanced and nice so harmony this is uh what the voltage is here so whatever voltage is here right uh 60 watt rms 180 watt peak power so we do have another rockwood fosgate r1 i did the six by nines already so this is six and a half versions. All right, when you're paying the half price, packaging also it's gonna be half. That speaker is like double price of these speakers. So I'm gonna put the links below so you guys check it out. The pricing, all the stuff. All right, let me. This is Rockford Fosgate Punch 6.5. The two tweeters. Nice build quality. 45, 45 watts RMS, 90 watt peak power, 4 ohms. Right? Doesn't come with any mounting board. But, but this one is a little expensive because it's a European model, so you have a lot of holes around the, the speaker. Um, the JBL gives you just the bracket and sealant, all the stuff, you know. This is the typical rock with Fosgate uh, grill. This grill is better than that one. Alright, so next. So here we go. This is all the speakers I have for now. It's second bench is coming, so we're gonna do more tests. This is JBL, Rockford 2, Rockford Fosgate, Scarlios, Bose, Pioneer, and DS18. So these ones like mid bass speakers. Uh, we're gonna run them with uh, super tweeters, something like this, and rest of them we will compare with the, each other. So as soon as I'm gonna finish with this line, I'm gonna start to compare with this uh, with the super tweeters. Let's do it.
by nines it sounds way better than these guys. <laughs> that difference why I like the JBL it's like the the balance it's so nice even you hear the cha 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 what how's it called cha 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 right <laughs> uh, on these ones you're gonna lose those the, some some notes you 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 losing it so more the mid bass the mid punchy and the tweet is like you know the highest like bright but some music you lose you losing it on this one you can hear every single note, every single details on the same level. So tweeters doesn't cut, you know, the, the lowers, lowers doesn't cut the tweeters, so this is the perfect, you know, the balance speaker. But of course for aftermarket, uh, if you put the aftermarket speakers also it's gonna be very good, very nice sounding speaker for Rockford Fosgate. Um not the big difference between sound. So you even though you paying the double price. This is more amplified used application. So this one just you can stack to your grab your garbage, destroy it, and put it this one on the stock head units. That's it. You're gonna be perfectly fine without the amplifier. If I make the louder, so that's uh, you know a little louder. So we're gonna see which one is gonna be perform better. Uh, we're gonna start from JBL. When you put the loud, um, this speaker is gonna start. Uh, that, that's my. I think that's my neighbors They're getting crazy because this speaker is like loud. So as soon as you put the, a lot of uh, the volume on this speaker, it plays very nice, clean, nice detailed sound. But this one, it goes like just screams. So it's gonna be just a painful to your ear. Uh, the perfect application 100% don't waste your time and money on this one if you don't run the amplifier if you don't have any amplifier just listen to this one and that's it you're gonna be perfectly fine and I, I like how the rock with phosphate it sounds it's same scenario it was with the kickers right uh, I did before the kickers with the alpine alpine lower end it wasn't not so bright like uh, Twitter's was a lower as soon as you amplify the alpine it's like opens up like crazy it screams everything's like detailed uh same scenario with the kickers right this guy like rockford fosgate as a kicker lower end like regular sound listening is very nice and bright detailed sound as soon as you put a lot of voltage you know a lot of power it's gonna be just a screaming on the on the level because this doesn't have any kind of filters so whatever the signal is coming, they trying to you know distribute that signal. That's it, guys. Very nice uh, six by nine box here, and I'm gonna do the second next run. Uh, what do you think? Should I run this uh, cheap speaker with the expensive one, or should I just skip it? I think uh, let me stick it and let me run it. 